welcome to the channel i'm charlie today we got nissan juke 2015 model 1.2 little bit problem engine especially timing chain however this customer say yesterday it's breakdown in a motorway and she said there is a misfire however vehicle told to me last night we'll see what's going on inside i'm going to start the car first there is a no any warning light but i feeling vehicle bit shaking see the my finger slightly shaking and exhaust in the camera you can see slightly smoke there see and misfire but I can't see any warning light at the dashboard that's a bit strange you can see smoke it's like a, uh, uh, uh. definitely vehicle has a misfire I need to go with the computer first if it not I need to open the engine then go manually we'll see how it's going on first time going to check with the computer this is the obd connector behind this flap you can just yeah you can see this is the obd connector then i'm going to plug in my computer ignition on going with the scanner Nissan 15 I'm going to take a full scan report at the moment I can see under engine management two faulty codes hmm. under engine management undocuments code 3P0304 hmm. normally P0304 mean cylinder number 4 misfire basically but I don't know why the undocument even I know was the faulty code hmm, bit strange anyway I'm going to exit from this menu then I'm going to the engine section and try to take a code under engine section both same ah, it's more difficult <laughs> I don't know what's the help for this faulty codes anyway I feel in something not right cylinder number four yeah I'm going to clean this <clears throat> faulty code oh no I'm going to leave it as it is I'm going to ignition off and going to the engine bay if you want to know how to open the engine hood this is the petrol this is the engine i know i'm pretty sure you know like this smaller thing but some people want to know that's why i'll show you next step i'm going to start the car and check old school way and i feeling i don't know you can hear this one I feeling timing chain also rattling I think now time to change the timing chain but however sometime it could be related this misfire to the timing chain sometime not however I am going to disconnect this connector cylinder number one connector plug connector 
Yeah. I can feel engine getting more violent. That's mean this cylinder number one working. Then I'm going to do the second one. Disconnect the coil pack connector. That's one also. I'm feeling engine bit violent when I disconnect the electric connector. Then the third one bit awkward place because of the this hose. Seeing the number three also working fine. Now I'm going to try fourth one. That one also doing the job. Now my problem going to be a little bit worse because I suspect it's going to be coil pack or it could be spark plugs. But I feel in now all four cylinders working fine. However, I can check live data with my computer. Next step, I have to check the live data with my computer. Go to the data section. You can see in the number one, two, three, four, no counters. 11,000 for the one, 8,000 for the two, 10,000 for the three, and 9,000 for the four. Mm. I'm going to rave the car and check the computer. Yeah. So, any changes? Basically, I need to forget the computer. Right now, I'm thinking I'm going to remove this spark plugs and have a look what's going on for the plugs then sometime I might be can identify something I don't know I'm just saying however I'm going to remove that spark plug disconnect this hose just take additional room little bit lift up and slightly move to the other side then I can read to that coil pack and spark plug easily then that one holding this one holding number 10 mil head knot spark plugs number 8 coil pack smelly bit okay not burning or something these plugs little bit oily you can see bit oily I am not sure because of the oil affected to the spark bit strange I'm going to check inside piston head not too bad uh, right what I'm going to do I'm going to remove cylinder number two spark plugs and I'm going to change to the cylinder number four before I remove the coil pack, I'm going to number it. One, two, third one little bit inside. However, at the moment, I'm not going to remove the third one. And I'm going to put this one number four. Right. Okay, all number up. Then I'm going to remove cylinder number two coil pack and the plug. After that, I'm going to just change the plugs. I'm not going to change coil pack. Look at that. Plenty of oil this side and the tip. Hmm. Vehicle little bit suffer with the 
rocker cover failure i feel him because that's why the engine oil come to the plugs i am going to check visually yeah this one little bit badly cover with the oil hmm. i don't know because at the moment it's talk about computer talk about the cylinder number 4 something not right anyway i'm going to clean the spark plugs and i'm going to install cylinder number number 2 and the cylinder number 2 one i'm going to install cylinder number 4 and i clean the tip also a little bit same time I don't want to do this one when I open the plugs and the coil pack. I can do cylinder compressor, but however, I'm not go going to do it today because only myself here. I can do with myself alone, but sometimes it's not accurate. Then I'm going to do the road test today. Then, if it not, when the my other guy come, I'll do the compressor test and let you know what's going on here. Connect the electrical connector. Bring it back this hose. After that, I'm going to reset the computer faulty code and take to the road test ignition on snap on computer clear codes right then again going to the code menu right you can see now no present codes right after that i'm going to ignition off and start but still I'm not feeling okay because still vehicle shaking I'm going to switch off switch on couple of time I'm going to check any faulty codes still no I feeling I need to go for a small ride until it's get the fault codes however I need to five six time off start off start then I'll might be take a faulty code after 15 time at an you can see one code for the engine management. Oh, that's one also the undocumented code P0011. I'm not sure what's going on with this computer today. However, I'm going to use my other computer and have a look what's going on there. I'm going to take a scan. At the moment there is a one code for under engine management body control module 13 faulty codes oh, that bit interesting right all complete little bit uh, confusing me for this faulty code B219300 right we'll see what they're saying for this faulty code under the body control this one then no worries i'm going to check uh, what is this one gps antenna yeah it's okay i'm going to check uh, right it's here again say cylinder number for misfire right 
that means something not right uh, cylinder number four and here it say p0011 that's when i'm feeling it's related to the cam and crank that's mean the like a uh, could be timing i didn't check deeply that uh, faulty code however i changed the spark plugs but it's not any luck for me not changing basically i swap the plugs but however next step i need to go with compressor test cylinder compressor then after that we'll see what we can identify from there so it's about 175 psi that's mean the good that's definitely good and the same again okay exactly the same nice and again okay a little bit lower 150 about 170 70 all right it's well five. it's 165 65 so slightly lower well i can hear the battery is getting a bit mm. lower now well, that's the concerned one, number four. Yeah, number four, yeah. Okay. Right. All right. <laughs> they, virtually nothing. Nothing. It's about 40. 40. All right. So there's your problem. Okay. Now We've we know a, the... I will, I, my personal experience, I would suggest the pistons failed rather than the valves. Because I've mm. had that before where the head was replaced put back together and exactly the same so in my experience there was a piston that time faulty but yeah so i would suggest it's um bottom end is not very well mm. we need to go until bottom there yeah so mm. okay exactly now we know the problem mm. 40 psi mean nothing so basically it's virtually zero so I means it's got some but that it's means it's not the hole like a, in the valve where like would be zero no matter how many times you would crank if there is a hole in the in the valve is like a chunk piece piece missing you would show zero compression at all times but if it's a tiny little hole in the piston you will still build the compression a bit mm. well, but that explains could why be, the spark plug covered in oil as well could we uh, see the number four actually number four spark plug here now see yeah mm. Oh, so but you swapped the spark plugs over, didn't you? Yeah, I did. This is the number four one. Yeah, that that see that spark plug is all covered in oil. Yeah, that's mean this cover with oil. This is the previous one. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. Mm. Right. Okay, we get the approval from customer, and uh, if you go ahead, come back to you. <laughs> See you in the next video. Okay. Nice one.